Florida Congresswoman Maria Salazar leading the charge on a new bipartisan border bill called the Dignity Act. The legislation would provide billions in funding to secure the border, as well as hire thousands of agents, all without using taxpayer money. Joining me right now is the Florida Congresswoman herself, Maria Salazar. She is a member of the Foreign Affairs and Small Business Communities. Congresswoman, good to see you. Thanks very much. Great Tell to us see about you. the legislation. Well, this legislation is called the Dignity Act. Is not amnesty, is dignity, because amnesty is what the undocumented have now. Free roads, free schools, free hospitals. This is not only, Maria, an immigration bill. This is a national security bill and an economic bill. Why? And are you going to ask, why immigration now? Because what we passed a month ago is border security, and chances are that is going to die in the Senate. My bill has a chance of going to the Senate and be able to create, for the first time in 10 years, a complete immigration reform, because that is what this country needs. We need to stop the mess at the the border. And my bill makes the undocumented pay for all the border security that we're going to put there, $45 billion that we're going to be collected from the undocumented, those people who have been here and they are not paying taxes. But you know very well whether we cannot deport them. And on top of that, the economy needs them. Right now, and you know because you interview all the big honchos in the business sector, that those people need hands. We have 10 million jobs available and no one to fill them. Well, we yeah. have those people in, ta we have in place, and we can bring them out of the shadows, give them dignity, not citizenship, and put them to work. And they're going to be delighted to live in yeah. dignity, not amnesty. Well, That's I what like the, bill the idea does. that you've got E-Verify in there. You like it. Talked, well, I'm talking yes. about specific parts of it, Maria. It's uh, uh, yes. e, uh, the uh, to, to talk specifically about verification and e-verify. But I want to get your take on what's going on in New York, because New York City Mayor Eric Adams says that he wants churches to help with uh, housing illegal migrants. He's even floating the idea of paying people to take in migrants into their home. Here's what he said. Watch this. It is my vision uh, to take the next step to this, to go to the faith base. Uh, locales and then move to uh, private residents. Uh, there are residents who are suffering right now because of economic challenges. They have spare rooms. Uh, they have locales. Wow, this is a new one, Congresswoman. Uh, ordinary citizens yeah. taking in the migrants into their own homes if you have an extra room. Wow. Yeah, indeed. And you know why? Because you need to put them somewhere because yeah. they came in. Because they came in, what are you going to do with them? That's the big problem that we're facing as a nation. We got to seal the border and not let anyone in, not let anyone in that does not have papers and cannot earn a living because those people do not have a work permit. Most Americans do not understand the disaster of the Biden administration. That's, a, that's why we need a bill that will seal the border with the toughest penalties and the most strict technology we could find. But, mm. but someone needs to do something, and that's why I, I, I'm delighted that you are giving me the opportunity to express to, to the rest of the country that there is an immigration bill out there that could solve the problem. Look, yeah. the, uh, just, uh, to, just to be clear, I, I, have not read, I have not read your bill, just to be clear. Well, I what I said I earlier like was, I, I, yeah, what I said earlier was the e-verify part of it is important. And I think that that's one area that we haven't seen enough focus on, where companies can actually verify who their employees are. This is, this is a good point. Nikki Haley was yeah, pushing you know that why? pretty aggressively you know as well. We you know we, why we can do that from coast to coast? Every single business owner needs to go to E-Verify because they're going to have the hands. The illegal hands are going to come out of the shadows, and we're going to be able to hire them for, yeah. and they're going to be able to pay taxes. So the business owners will not need to go to E-Verify will not be a problem. That's what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. Because right now, there's hypocrisy that, you know, yeah, we have E-Verify on the books, but no, I, I cannot follow that because I need the hands that are on the field, picking up the jalapeno peppers of the tomatoes, and I cannot verify if they're legal or not because I need them. That's not the yeah. way a country runs. And you let know me, that that's what's happening right now. Lou, Lou, Lou Bassanese is here. Go ahead, Lou. Yeah, Congresswoman, I haven't read the bill yet either, but there's two things that stand out that I absolutely love. One, it's no, it doesn't use any taxpayer dollars, right? It's completely self-funded. And the other thing that you touched upon 
is giving people dignity to actually bring ambitious people to this country in a way that restores the American dream where they don't have to do it in the shadows. So my question is, those two things alone should get bipartisan support, but where do you see the opposition coming from? Because we know it's coming, so what do you anticipate the opposition to this you will know, be? Even though it won't cost us anything, and you're actually going to give dignity and opportunity to plenty of people that absolutely deserve it. I love intelligent people like you in the media because that's exactly what it is. We are creating two funds, $45 billion each. One of them is to buy technology for the border. The other one is to retrain American workers. Because if an American worker believes that this bill, that someone has taken their jobs away, we're going to retrain them, re-educate them. Don't worry, we're going to make you a welder or an electrician. The money is there. And you know, the problem that I have is lack of knowledge. Like the Bible says you perish because you don't know so most people do not know that we can give them dignity not path to citizenship the the Browns who are illegal are gonna love it because they're here in the promised land and all they want to be they don't want to be Americans they want to live in dignity and that is why bipartisan is what we need and the GOP needs to be leading the way and that as a proud GOP member I have created this new immigration bill that that uh, that I'm sure is going to be able, it's going to solve every Everyone's problem: the business sector, immigration, border patrol, and those who are here in the shadows. Because you know, you have a lot of millions yeah. of people who are okay. contributing to the economy, cleaning the toilets, picking up the jalapeno peppers, jobs that no one will do, no American will do. Well, let them stay. Yeah. Let them live in dignity, not citizenship, and they're happy. So everyone is happy, and you don't have the problem that New York City is having right now. <laughs> Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you, Maria, Maria. Salazar, joining us in D.C.